today's video, I'm going to show you how to scan your streaming device from malware and removing those infected applications. So this method that I'm showing you is going to work for your Fire TV stick. It is going to work for your Chromecast with Google TV. It is going to work for your Android TVs, such as your Nvidia Shield or any Android device that's out there. So this video shouldn't be too long. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So before we jump into it, if you're in the market for a VPN, check the description of the two VPN services that I use and recommend. If you have any questions about either one of those services, drop it in the comment section below. Before I show you how to install this, I am going to do a quick run through, show you how to get the scan, what to look for, how to remove applications, and then we can jump into the installation. All right. So when you first launch it, you're going to see something similar like this. You are going to be asked to accept the terms and conditions. Just accept, hit scan. So what it will do now is it'll jump right into your device, scanning every applications, whether it's native applications that came with it or your third party applications or apps that you install from the app store. We'll scan everything and then it will give you a detailed report of every app and the status. All right. So here's a list of my applications. I probably have to blur some of them out. <laughs> so the green's going to mean that the app has no threats or no signs, no infection. And the orange is going to give you a warning that the app needs your attention, whether you need to uninstall it or clean it, whatever the case is. So before we start navigating, just know that this application was specifically designed for Android phones. Uh, so scrolling with just the remote, you're not going to see where it's highlighted. But to be able to see where you are, guys, all I would do is go down, click on something. You can see that this is a download application. So now I know exactly where I'm on on the screen and I can go up. I know that the next one should be Chrome and so on and so forth. If you have mouse toggle, you can activate that and it should make your life a lot easier. But remember that this app was designed for Android phone and that's why you don't see the apps highlighted while I navigate through them. All right. So up top, you're going to have a search. You're going to have a, a refresh and this is going to give you the option to scan again. You do have some settings in here. So if you click on the settings, you can see um, just some of the, the basic information, privacy policy, some notification options that you have there, sound and vibrate, uh, which really doesn't apply to that because this is a uh, fire stick, <laughs> not a mobile device. All right, go down further. You have your user apps. So these are apps that I installed. Click to the right. You're going to have your system apps. These are apps that are native to the fire tv stick and installed by amazon so for the most part those apps are going to be safe but you can see that just going through um you're going to see two fields under each application you're going to see total and you're going to see detection detection is mainly the one you want to look for guys so anything over uh, three or four five it's something that you probably want to look into anything that's at one probably good to go but just means that something has been reported on that app anything that's a one or zero is more likely good to go um, and I should let you know that sometimes this does have false positives but for the most part you can see um, that it notices that these apps are good to go but it did find one that it found suspicious and that's the one we're gonna kind of dive into today all right so the app is mouse toggle let's go ahead and click on it all right, so you can see this was uh, rated as suspicious. It gives you the source. Um, go down, it gives you some more information, the size, the app, who installed it. So it tells you that it was installed by the user. Looks like the path is right there. And it also has some of the encryption information below. All right, so scroll up to the top. You can see you have a share option. You also have the option to uninstall it. All right. So you do have that option to completely remove it directly from here if you wanted to. And if you go over to the right, you have some more information, guys. So you can see you have your AVS report. So this is going to tell you the type of virus. So you can see this was a Trojan. And this is where if you really concerned about the app, you might want to go ahead and look up this code right here. So it tells you the Trojan, tells you the error code next to it, tells you the detection, the risk, as well as some of the other detections below. So pretty useful. On the permissions, you can see the permissions. but this page right here, I believe is key because it really gives you some information to go ahead and work with. So we know that Mouse Toggle is a safe application. This could be a detection based on where I got it from, whatever the case is. But in this case, I don't want to risk it, guys. I'm going to go ahead and uninstall it. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go over to the trash can. I'm going to click OK. 
All right, uninstall finish, let's go back. And we're just gonna go ahead and refresh, scan again. And now you can see mouse toggle is no longer there and I do have everything in green just like I like it. So that's all I wanted to cover on this application. Let's go ahead and jump into the installation. So first we are gonna need to download the downloader application. Downloader, for you guys don't know, has been around forever. Uh, super helpful. What it is, basically is a browser that allows you to um, install third-party applications, surf the web, and do other things. So very useful, but you are gonna need this and it is available in the App Store and it's completely free. So we're just gonna go ahead and search for it. I'm gonna use the voice function in our remote. Downloader. All right, so big orange icon, can't miss it. Go ahead and download Downloader. So once you have Downloader downloaded, if you haven't done so already, you will need to make sure that Apps from Unknown Sources is turned on as well as your developer options. So do that. To check on that, we're gonna to go to our settings. I'm gonna to go to My Fire TV. So I already have developer options, but if you don't have it, you're gonna to go to about. And where it says My Fire TV, you're just gonna click on that seven times until at the bottom you see where it says you're now a developer. Now you can go back. You should now see developer options right there like I do. You're gonna click on that. You're gonna go to Apps from Unknown Sources. You wanna to get to Downloader and you wanna go ahead and turn that on. All right, it might give you a warning just telling you that these can arm your device, but that's standard. Uh, once you do that, you can go ahead and back out. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and launch Downloader. All right, so here we are on Downloader. We're gonna put in this tiny URL. So this is a direct download, guys. So once you put in this URL, hit done or hit go, it should start downloading immediately. So the URL is a tiny URL or a short URL. It's gonna be t.ly. forward slash and you want to make sure everything looks just like I'm typing it this is case sensitive so the W right here is going to be uppercase EL is going to be lowercase and I'm going to put in two and the last one is going to be a uppercase W so just like it looks here guys that's all you need to put in Hit go, and it will start downloading, like I said, immediately. All right, so once it downloads, I already have it, but once it downloads, go ahead and hit install. All right, we're gonna click done, and we wanna go ahead and delete that APK. We don't need that APK anymore, that's just the installer. It's gonna take up space, delete it, confirm, and it should now have the application with the rest of your apps. Should be at the bottom, so you should be able to move it wherever you need. So that's it for this video. Just wanted to quickly show you guys a way to scan your Fire TV, scan your NVIDIA Shield, Chromecast or Google TV, or any Android device out there just to see if you have any infections or any apps or potential threat to your device. If you have any questions about this, drop it in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.